Costa Rondacoy School District plans to bring back its youngest students in person four days a week this fall. As part of its hybrid reopening plan, the older students will only be in person two days a week. Kayla Green joins us now live from Arondequoit. Kayla, what are administrators saying about this plan? Adam, the superintendent tells me he's very confident in this hybrid plan. He says it's very important to the district to bring back students safely while also offering them as many opportunities as possible. He says they have six buildings for kindergarten through third grade, which gives them enough space to be able to do both. West Arondequoit Superintendent Aaron Johnson says the district's reopening mantra is start slowly to go fast. What that's going to help us to do is to, number one, um, you know, really continue to keep our finger on the pulse of how things are going with our staff, students, and families. Um, solicit feedback uh, from those folks. Be reflective in our process and make changes along the way. K through six will be in person four days a week and learn remotely one day. They'll be with one teacher most of the day and one other teacher will rotate in. Johnson says this is more in person learning than many other districts, but there's a reason for that. So there's smaller buildings with smaller groups of students to begin with. So we were able to logistically take a look at the floor plans there and break those classrooms um, into by half in a 50% uh, you know, distribution. Grades 7 through 12 will be in person for two days and learn remotely the other three days. Older students will be split into two groups to determine which two days they come in. Students who aren't comfortable learning in person can request to participate in a fully remote model. For lunchtime, he says while K through 6 will eat lunch in the classroom, 8 through 12 will eat in the cafeteria. We're going to increase the number of lunch periods um, because of the distancing necessary and uh, the students will come down socially distanced, you know, with the six feet. Uh, again, they'll be packaged. Uh, there'll be limitations on what we can offer. Staff and students will be required to check their temperatures every day, and they'll be able to do this at home, or if they can't do it at home, they can do it at school. Staff will be also required to fill out a health screening every day, and students will do this periodically. Masks will be required of the students anytime they can't social distance, and teachers will wear them while teaching. Live in Irondequoy, Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you. This plan, by the way, due to the state by this Friday and is pending approval from the governor's team.